I'd sum for another math. Easy solution here. Discuss another derivatives example and look at horizontal tangent lines to a curve and basically look at this example. Find the points on the curve y equals x to the 4 minus 6x uh, squared plus 4 where the tangent line is all horizontal. So just to get an idea of the horizontal, if you have a curve to something like this, a horizontal tangent line would just be something like over here, or something like that. And then this rise of run of the slope is zero, and the slope is the same thing as I explained in my other videos, as a derivative of y prime or dy over dx, and this just equals to zero right here. So we have to basically find the points when the derivative is equal to zero. So the first thing to do is take the derivative of this function right here. Yeah, so basically the derivative, we'll just write down the function first again. So x to the four minus six x squared plus four. The derivative, we just use basic power uh, power rules for derivative. So the derivative uh, y prime is equal to four x to the uh, three. So you put the four down, subtract one on the top. So 4x cubed, and this one's going to be put the 2 down, so now we have 2 times 6, and that's 12, and we have an x here, so 2 minus 1 is x. And then the derivative of a constant function is just 0, so we have, this is our derivative. Now we could actually simplify this further by taking the 4 and the x, with like terms out of the both of these terms right here. So we get the 4x out of there, so when we divide that out, we're going to be left with, and this one this is going to be x squared right here. 4x times x squared is just 4x cubed. And then minus, um, and then we minus on this term, so we divide out 4x, and then we'll be left with just 3. Because we'll number 4x times 3 is just going to be 12x right there. So we're left with this right here. And we know that uh, this is equal to 0. So y prime is equal to 0 whenever, when x, in this case, if we just look at it when x is 0. So in this term, when x is 0, and when this term is 0. So when this equals 0, or if we write that down, x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. And if we just solve for x right there, we'll have x squared is equal to 3, or x equal 2 plus or minus square root of 3 right here. Because remember, it's, it's plus or minus, because whatever you square, if, if it's negative, you square, it's going to be positive. And this is basically uh, the, yeah, so the answer here. If you just have a square root of 3 squared, that's going to be 3. So basically, that's when our uh, derivative is 0. So that's at when y prime is equal to, is equal to 0 when x, we just write it all out, x equals to 0 and plus or minus 3. So there's three points right here. And then to find the points, we'll just plug this inside the y function. So the first one. So let's write down the function again. Yeah, so the function y, x4 minus 6x squared plus 4. So we plug in the first one, this x equals 0. We'll be le left with, if you put y of 0, or x equals 0, is going to be, this, these two terms are going to be 0, and this is going to be 4. So the first point is just 0 and 4. Now the second points are basically y. And this one, is, as you can see, these are even uh, powers right here. So if it's even, it's always going to be positive. It doesn't matter if it's negative 3. Because, that, because when you have negative times it's uh, negative, you're going to be positive. And it's an even times uh, even number of multiplication. So negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. They always cancel. And so basically, we'll just be uh, positive. So we can just pl plug in plus or minus square root 3 right here. And this equals 2. Well, we just ignore the plus or minus 3 because it's always going to be positive. So we'll have square root 3 to the 4 minus 6 times, well, square root of 3. Or we could just write down square root of 3 as 1 over 2 and then times it by 2 right here. So this, this is the same way. This is how you could deal with uh, power functions like this. You can see more on power functions and properties in the video link below. So plus 4 right here. So we could simplify this again, write this in the same way as this one. 3, 1 over 2, or just 4 over 2, minus this one's going to be 6. Now you could have 2 over 2 cancels, or we'll have just 3. Plus 4 right here, because remember that's 2 over 2, and that's just 1. And then this is going to be 3 and 2. So 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So minus 6 times 3, plus 4. 
And then this is going to be 9 minus 18 plus 4. This equals to negative 9. 9 minus 18 plus 4. This is equals to negative 5. So our two points out are basically uh, square root 3 and negative 5. And, and basically negative square root of 3 and negative 5 right here. And here I've graphed it with Google uh, search graph and calculator. Just type it in x to the 4 minus 6x squared plus 4. And we get this curve right here. So the uh, horizontal asymptotes, I mean the horizontal tangent lines are basically when it's uh, the derivative is 0. And these are the points. So basically here's at negative 5. So at, at 5 right here. And this is a, a square root of 3 or negative square root of 3. And then also 5 right here. So this is negative square root of 3 is around 1.67-ish if you read this thing. So somewhere around there. And then there's the 0 and 4 right there. And basically, yeah, so this is how the curve looks like. And, and here I've just copied and pasted that inside here. Because you could always download these notes in Dropbox link below. This would be all for today. I just wanted to draw a horizontal line like that. So this is the points. This is the three points where the derivative is 0. And yeah, that's what I just wanted to show right there. So there's the horizontal tangents uh, is basically when derivatives are zero, and that's at these three points. We just we just found out this is it one, this is it one, two, and this point right here. Well, anyway, that's all for today. Uh, once again, you can always download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below, and hopefully you enjoyed this. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.